Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. <laughs> um, my name is Dr. Bridget Young. I'm a doctor of perinatal nutrition and a certified lactation counselor and founder of babyformulaexpert.com. And I am here to in my car. I'm not driving. I'm sitting in the parking lot for a very quick review of the store brand or generic versions of Similac Pro Sensitive. For those of you who keep up with me, I'm trying to switch doing happy hours on Wednesday and the week just got away from me, but I actually crushed it at work today and was so productive that I snuck out a little bit early so I have, you know, 10 minutes extra in my day to get this done in the car for you. So Similac Pro Sensitive is Similac's lactose reduced formula. And the pro, of course, means that it has the human milk oligosaccharide 2-fucosalactose, or on the label as 2-FL. Human milk oligosaccharides are all the rage. Currently, 2-FL is the only individual human milk oligosaccharide that you can get in formulas. More will be coming soon, but currently that's all that is available. You can get it in Similac's Pro formulas, so Pro Sensitive, Pro Advanced, Pro Total Comfort, and you can also get it in Gerber's standard formulas, so they're gentle and they're soothe. The really exciting news, which I talked a lot about last week, is that generic or store brand formulas have just started adding this ingredient to some of their formulas. The reason it's so exciting is obviously store brand formulas are way cheaper. And until now, you really had to pay the significant price difference of a name brand formula if you wanted a formula with 2FL. So last week I went over the differences between Similac Pro Advance and the Walmart formula. Um, but the Walmart formula is the same as the Target formula. So a lot of the differences are, the differences between name brand and generic are the same between Similac Advance and Similac Pro Sensitive. So today I'm gonna to focus on Similac Pro Sensitive compared with the name with the store brand formulas. So most of these store brand formulas are actually all made by the same parent company, which means a lot of them are identical. So for example, Similac, the, the store brand of Similac Pro Sensitive, which is often marketed as um, sensitivity or sensitive formula, um, now all have HMO, and that is if you get the Walmart brand, the Kroger brand, the Target brand, or CVS, um, or Sam's Club, because Sam's Club and Walmart are basically the same. They're owned by the same company. Um, that's all the same formula. So this review is relevant to all of those stores. So I'm going to list them again. When I'm saying store brand or generic Similac Pro Sensitive, I am referring to the Pro Sensitive version of the formula put out by Walmart. i to make sure I have my list here. Walmart, Kroger, Target, and CVS. So... Let's go through it. And I'm going to be really quick about this because I really want to get home. One, they're they're almost identical. So basically the vast majority of babies, if you are on pro-sensitive and you're loving it, but it's a real stretch for your budget, the vast majority of you are really going to be able to switch with um, without an issue. So here are the differences. The protein is exactly the same. This is um, a milk protein base, so it's actually vast majority casein and a little bit whey. I actually think that's hard for a lot of babies to digest, but... If your baby is thriving on it, awesome, great. And, and that's exactly the same between the, the generic and name brand. The big difference, just like with the Pro Advance, is the fat. The store brand formulas use palm oil. Similac does not. So the you know potential negative of palm oil is that it causes some babies to be constipated. Um, through how it's digested molecularly, it causes the stool to be a little more firmer. A lot of babies, this doesn't bother them at all. They just pass the stool, it's a little bit firmer, and you literally would never know a difference. Constipation can be a life-altering, horrible problem for some babies. If that is you, don't switch. It's not worth it um, because when constipation gets that bad, it, it can it just affects sleep. It affects everything. So that's the big takeaway, which is the same for, for the advance as well. If you are on Similac formula, but your baby is prone to constipation or you, you know, come over the hump of chronic constipation, I wouldn't risk it. So that's the really big difference is that the fat blend they use is different. Similac does not use palm oil. These store brand formulas do. 
Um, the other differences are extremely minor. The store brand formulas do not have lycopene. Honestly, I don't think that's enough of a difference to pay the difference in the price tag. I'm just going to leave it there. The store brand formula uses a different preservative. It uses monoglycerides, which I don't know. Do, do I love that babies are eating monoglycerides? No, of course not. Um, there has to be certain of these kind of undesirable preservatives to preserve the nutrients that your baby does need. So they're, and to some degree, they're a necessary evil. Um, I think we could do a lot of scientific advancement to avoid some of these, but for now, it's not like they're adding it to be mean. It's there because some of these nutrients need a stabilizer. So, but that's a difference. Um, is it going to be relevant to a lot of babies? No. It's just something to be aware of. So if you do switch and your baby has a horrific reaction, these are the potential um, causes for that reaction. And wouldn't it be nice to know if your baby can't tolerate monoglycerides that you know that and so you can avoid other things that have it. That's the purpose of why I'm telling you this. Um, that's pretty much it. Both of these formulas have really trace amounts of lactose. So they're almost lactose free, but that's the same between both. And the last difference that is actually kind of, you know, yes and no, a big difference is Similac years ago switched all of their um, standard formulas. So sensitive and advanced to be 19 calorie per ounce formulas. Other brands, including store brand, are 20 calories per ounce. So the store brand version of Similac Pro Sensitive will have one extra calorie for every ounce in your bottle. Um, I'm trying to think of like, what would be one calorie for me? It would not affect my waistline at all. One calorie is a big deal per ounce for certain babies. Like in the NICU, we are, you know, we are measuring every calorie and it's a really big deal. For healthy babies, they regulate themselves so well. So yes, if you're feeding them a formula that has a little one extra calorie, they'll probably drink a tiny bit less. That tiny bit less is probably not going to be even enough that you would notice. I think the, the amount they would drink less the very would be less than the variability of what they drink day to day. But I want to be thorough and give you a difference. So the store brand formulas are 20 kcals per ounce. The name brand formula is 19 calories per ounce. If your baby's been healthy, just put this over your head. If your baby spends some time in the NICU, you're like, oh, oh, I know all about that. Well, now you know, but if your baby is healthy now and growing well, it's not really a big deal. If your baby has been very small previously and you're working on weight gain, check with your doc. Well, you're probably not on the 19 calorie per ounce formula anyway, but you know, it's just something to be aware of that's not going to be relevant for the vast majority of babies. So that's pretty much it. So I'll give the two second summary again. The generic brand formula of Similac Pro Advance from the stores, the Walmart brand formula, Tar Target brand formula, Kroger brand formula, and CVS, all of those stores, their version of Pro Sensitive is extremely similar to Pro Sensitive from Similac, and you'll probably be able to switch with no problem. The exceptions are if your baby has a history of chronic constipation, um, and that's pretty much it. I have to end by saying, even though the ingredients are so similar, you really, I would recommend you treat this as a full formula change. Go slow. Um, you are introducing them to palm oil for the very first time. If you've just been on breast milk or Similac, this is an, in, like a big amount of a new ingredient they've never had before. Their body may need a little time to adjust and, you know, for lack of a better word, learn how to digest this without causing issues. So go slow. Dilute out your last box of Similac Pro Sensitive slowly with your new box um, of the generic brand. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm so excited for Christmas. I can't wait to go home. And I hope all of you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Safe, happy snuggles, great digestion wishes for everybody. Um, it's just a special time of year. If there's anything that I can do to help you, if you are unfortunately having formula issues in your home, Go over to my website, babyformulaexpert.com, and there's up at the top a place that says work with Dr. Young, and there's a link there where you can set up a free 15-minute call to talk to me. Maybe I'll be able to help you quickly, and if not, you can learn about my um, more long-term consulting services, and it would be my joy to help your family. Happy holidays, everybody. I will see you next week. Talk to you then. Bye.